This is gonna be a super quick one tonight. We're gonna to install Alpha Rex headlights on our 2013 Toyota Sequoia Platinum Edition. The newer or facelift Sequoia has at least LEDs and a different shape in here and doesn't have the headlight washers. What we chose to go with was the Alpha Rex that would fit the 2020, 2012 Sequoia that doesn't have the cut out on the bottom and keep our headlight washers. Why? Because we love headlight washers, they're so cool. It should be a quick little in and out job. New headlights for a 2012 Sequoia out with the old, in with the new. Let's just jump right into it. Super simple install, and I'm doing it at night so you can actually see the results. So we don't have to do this during the day and you won't see what they look like. First things first, let's pop the hood and show, show you guys what we're working with. Move the headlight is super duper simple. In order to pull this panel off here, you have to pop these clips. You can't pull this panel off until you remove the headlight washer itself and the headlight washer is so simple to remove you have little pry clips here on the top on the stopper and you're going to pry this off with a flathead and then the headlight washer unit will pop back into the headlight or pop back into its pocket once that's back in there then you can pull this plastic cover off so let's go ahead and do that now pull the headlight washer out do this one-handed because that's tight there we go and then in here you have these little clips that you're going to pull off with a flathead, pop those off, and then you should be able to push this back into its pocket. Rock in. Get these out, pop rivets if you can, without breaking them. Get this one out. Now that you've popped those off, this comes right out, and this actually snaps. It doesn't uh, have a rivet or anything. You just gotta be careful not to scratch your paint. And I'll do it correctly here. All right, these two little guys pop into this, these two holes right here. They're kind of a pain, but they do come out. You can put a plastic pry bar on there and pull it out. And so now the headlight little cover is gone. I'm putting everything in the engine bay. If you have like a table or something, I would recommend use that. <clears throat> but now we can remove the headlight and in order to do so 10 millimeter 10 millimeter 10 millimeter Nothing here and then the headlight should come out. So let's get those going I'm gonna pull the headlight out a little bit. You can also see the plumbing for the washer <laughs> Go figure it's a little rusted I'm gonna pull the headlight out a little bit and then I can get access to all the bulbs and stuff behind it Now the lights gonna come forward Super simple, man, this is easy. Blinker, high beam, low beam, and then parking light, which just snaps off or clicks off. Okay, so the, actually the headlight washers are attached to the light. Three little screws that hold that in place. And now that's free, we can take this headlight and throw it in the trash or sell it or whatever. Now let's put these on the ground and comp compare the two. You can see the one on the front is black housing, the back is silver housing. I'm not normally a black out the, the rig kind of guy. I, I like having contrast, but the beauty of this is it's just the housing that's blacked out and not the actual front of the headlight. So that way all the lights can shine through and it just makes the front look that much more modern and meaner. It just looks so much cooler, honestly, overall. And to put this on is the exact opposite of how you take that off. We're gonna start with the headlight washer first, put that in with the three screws, pop the headlight in place, and then bolt it down. The wiring here is pretty simple. I'm not a fan of stuff like this in headlights. I think this is cheesy and tacky. And Alpha Rex, if you're watching this video, do better. But this is the best that's out there. Even if you do Morimoto, it's the same. If you do, the only one that doesn't do some dumb crap like this would be Toyota OEM. And sadly, I just can't afford Toyota OEM lights, nor do I want to get rid of my headlight washers. So this is the best that's out there, and I'm still gonna be stoked. I just hate stuff like this. This just adds complications to 
cut to headlights that don't need them. In fact, I'm probably the only one who's installing these headlights telling you how much I hate this, but it is what it is. <clears throat> In order to install the headlights, these are gonna be daytime running, uh, daytime running LEDs that go on the outside of the headlight there. And they're gonna need a constant power, red, a constant ground, black. They're gonna need some sort of trigger wire. Now, um, Alpharex gives you a few options. They have a yellow one here, they have a gray one here. Um, and then they also give you this relay, an add a fuse that you tap into your fuse box. And that just makes sure it gets the trigger that it needs when your ignition is on, only when your ignition is on. And so that's pretty cool, pretty easy, but still uh, this, I just, I'm not a fan of. And so in order to do this, it looks like uh, we're gonna tap into the, this has a five amp breaker in it. So we're gonna pop open the fuse box here. Super simple. And let me get you guys some light. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna locate I think you're gonna locate either a 10 amp or a five amp in this row here. Pop in the add a fuse and you should be good to go. Let's go ahead and do that now. So yeah, in order to properly get this to go, you wanna pull this 10 amper right here that's your ignition fuse. And that way the headlights turn on when the ignition of the car turns on or, or when you unlock the car, vice versa. And so we're gonna pop this guy off right now and throw this in. Don't drop it, don't lose it. You got your five amp and your you got your five amp and your ten amp. Let's throw the add a fuse block back in there. That's not correct. That's correct. Good. You're gonna wire the rest of this, and there are two pigtails that come out of this thing. There's these here. It's a lot of it's a lot of wiring, but let me make sense of it. Now that we got our add a fuse in. Here's a bunch of pigtails that come out of this harness. There's a shorty, which is right here. This looks pretty short, you can see it. This goes to the driver headlight, and literally there's a plug in the headlight for it. So I'll run this kind of around the battery and make it look nice and tidy. And then there's a super duper long one that's got like maybe five or six feet on it. That's gonna run around the car. And so let me pan you out. It can run behind the radiator if you do a nice job. You could even run it out through here and in through there, zip tying it all along here and tucking it up. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just find my best route for this right now. And uh, I might go double through and then around for one and then just have one poke out here. I think that might be the best solution. Okie dokie, that was pretty simple. You do your add a fuse into the fuse box. Red on positive, black on negative, you know, because there's a minus sign and a positive sign on the terminal. I ran this wire through here underneath the core support and then out to where the headlight goes. And then I have just one more wire. Looks like it is right here. And that will go around the battery into the headlight. Red to this brown red thing. Yellow to this yellow thing pops in. And then these are your high and low beam clips and they just plug into your factory ones. That's super simple. There is no messing this up. Um, I think that this yellow determines whether or not I'm going to have amber on my blinkers. So I'm going to plug in the yellow and see what happens. I didn't read the instructions, nor do I care, but I'm going to plug it in, see what happens. Here's the first problem of the install. This connector does not match with the factory connector. Do you see how there's one little tab there for a slot on the bottom? And then this doesn't have that. Super simple fix, just pull this off from the uh, Alpha Rex and pull that one off your factory and swap them over. There's a little plug in there that pops out that simulates a bulb and that should pop right in. So let's do that. All right, I transferred that over and you can see the plug is the right plug now. And so the factory one should pop right back on place. Let's do the first click. Wow, that was something. Let's do this. Wow, the blinker works. It's very bright. Let's lock it twice. Let's unlock. That's sick. Let's see if the car starts and everything works. All right, we got a headlight that's on, that's sick. The uh, LED on the outside is 
perfect. It's actually lower because the headlight's on. Now let's see if we can turn on the high beam. High beam works just fine. Now let's see if we can turn on the blinker. All right, the blinker does not work. That is a no-go on the blinker, folks. That is a no-go. One thing I forgot to do was pop in the old blinker from the old headlight, duh. <clears throat> That's a 2157 amber bulb, and you can get these in LED, which I think I'm gonna get, but uh, it's getting pretty late, and I don't think I have time to go to the car parts store, so let's just pop this bad boy in and lock her down for now. And then we can connect it. All right, now that should pull enough draw to keep the blinker from hyper flashing. And let's pop the headlight back in place. On now, let's see if the blinker works correctly. All right, that's what we want, baby. Blinker's on and it's sequential. That's exactly what we want. Oh, that looks so sick. All right, she's on and she looks great. If you are gonna put this back in place, the trick is get it in on that side first, then bring it over. Don't be like me and just scratch your headlight like crazy. Um, that's not a great way to uh, or scratch your fender too. Uh, it's not really not what you should be doing with $500 headlights, but I did it, so whatever. Hey, I'm not perfect. Do you want to put it in place? It's kind of loosey-goosey, like it doesn't really bolt up very well. This is pretty loose, it has some play here. These bolts get worn out and they don't necessarily bolt in too tight. You can see that. I've, I've cranked it down a hundred times with my ratchet and it just won't go. So uh, hopefully that panel will push it back in place and keep it in place when it snaps in there. I'm gonna move on over to the other side, same thing. Pull out the windshield wiper nozzle, pry this off, let it sink back in, and then pull this little, these little covers off. Then you can start to remove the headlight. Here we go, blinker, blinker, high beam, low beam, and marker light. Once you get all that out, the last thing you gotta do is remove the windshield wipers on the bottom with three Phillips heads and you should be good to go. Before we pop this on the car, we learned something from the last headlight, that this little plug guy needs to be swapped over. So let's pull that out. And then also for the headlights, I didn't like the headlights that came with it. So I switched over to Eye of Megatron H7s. So I'm gonna pop those in on this side too, just because I want something brighter. And that should be it. I used to be pro headlights and have a normal bulb like this inside them. I think it's kind of a gimmick. Yeah, the headlight is good quality and you get some cool features and the truck looks good, but uh, this is kind of this is kind of bush league here. Let's go ahead and switch that out. Pretty simple, it just pops in the plug. This is an H7 and it's a 5500 Kelvin. LED is better than halogen. And I'm sure HID would be better than LED, but we're going to throw this in and see what, what happens. Bada bing, bada boom. And then let's go and do everything else in the headlight here. Okay, in order to do this side, plug in the factory blinker plug to the split harness that comes with the headlight. Then you're going to do one of the splits from that harness to the blinker. You're going to leave this yellow one unplugged. On the other side, we do have the yellow one plugged in because I want a yellow blinker. But here we're leaving it unplugged and everything else should be good to go. Make sure your headlights are plugged in and your high beams are plugged in like I did. And also plug in your little marker light and then the lights should work perfectly. But remember, this goes to that and then that splits off into the blinker and then it splits off to the rest of the headlight. Otherwise, you're not gonna have a blinker that works. But everything seems to work perfectly now. And now comes the hard part, which we'll save till some other time and that's aiming the headlights. Um, up and down and side to side and that should be super simple and uh, we're gonna pop the headlight back in place finish up the install and wrap it up for tonight I chose to do this at night because nobody does their installs at night so the lighting was pretty shitty and I'm sorry about that but I also wanted you to see what the lights look like at night why do it during the day and then not show you if they are rad at night or not because that's another reason why you bought these really cool LED lights so I did it at night um, if you like the video, like, subscribe, comment. I'm going to finish up with this install, aim the headlights, and uh, take it for a rip. Okay, we got the front end of the Sequoia all sorted. And honestly, it looks very mean. I don't know if I actually like it. 
It looks so mean. It doesn't look like the GX has like a smile on its face. It looks pretty happy, but this looks really, really pissed off. I think it's because the grill's too chromed and the fog lights are too light, but, and I'm seeing this at night for the first time, but whoa, that's something. It's gonna grow on me. I got it, I don't know if I like it. Maybe black housing wasn't the way to go, but that's a look. Not sure if I love it. Oh well. Now you know how to install these headlights. Um, it might look good. It might not. Maybe I'll see it in the day. I, or I need to wash the truck. But let, let's take it for a spin and see if these headlights are even aimed at all. <laughs> wow. The beam pattern from these is so sick out of the box. It looks rad. Obviously I gotta aim them. Um, I think they're aimed way too far to the right and too low. But that looks so sick going up the neighborhood. Oh, shut up. Hey, I like this. This looks very fancy. I'm a big fan. Call me a big fan of this. This is lighting up this dark neighborhood like no problem. I, I do think they're aimed a little too low. I think they need to come up a little bit higher. And I think my right headlight needs to move left a little bit. That looks amazing. Let's see how the high beams look. Ooh, okay, they're okay. I think they're good for a straight line, but I don't think they're good for like the whole highway. But man, that beam pattern is crisp. Look at that, that's a dark street, folks. Okay, here's the high beam. Eh, it's okay. Eh, it's okay, but the high beams need to be higher. I think everything needs to be, move up a little bit. And the right headlight needs, needs to move over one, but so far so good. Let's see how the blinker does at night. That's pretty good. Man, I really like that beam pattern. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and put that out there. This is the best beam pattern I've seen in a long time on a truck this old. This looks amazing. Y'all can see what it looks like at night. Obviously it's bright as hell for the camera, so it might be too bright for the camera. But there we go. That looks so dope at night. Oh my gosh. I think I'm more of a fan with them on at night than I am with them off. That looks crazy good. I know you can't really see it here, but let me get a little closer so the camera lighting adjusts, but that looks so good at night. Oh, stoked, 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 stoked. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Threw on some Alpha Rex Pro Series headlights. For the money, I'm pretty into them. The beam pattern's insane, I love them. Switch those halogens out for LEDs. I'm happy about that. So if you get some Alpha Rex in your car and you go over the Pro Series, buy yourself some LED bulbs or HID bulbs. It's needed. Those halogens are dog shit. Um, and the look of your rig will be totally transformed and updated. Wow, that looks like a new car. Oh man, let me turn on the blinker one more time. Oh, oh, so good. Look at that. That looks so sick. I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. I'm happy now. I'm pretty happy. Bye.